everybody and welcome back to All Things Now. So I want to talk to you about the current episode of Married to Medicine. Well, I didn't do a review for the last episode because I felt like it was going to kind of run into this episode. And so instead of doing two lengthy reviews, I'm just going to combine both reviews together in this one. Because the only thing that was really popping off at that on the last episode, honey, was that Miss Renee. Honey, honey, honey. She made me have to pull out the church fan. I'm like, what is Miss Renee doing up here acting a fool? Y'all, that lady. It's obvious that Miss Renee was uncomfortable at Mariah's get together. That that was obvious. She was she said she was out of place. It don't matter that you out of place or not. There's a certain way to behave. And just because you feel like you with people that's above you, it don't mean you act the fool. All she had to do is just smile, be polite, be nice. And if she felt uncomfortable, all she had to do is say, Dr. Contessa, this is, I'm sorry. I know this means a lot to you, but this is just too overwhelming for me. Get in the Uber and go back to the house. That's all she had to do. Go home. Getting drunk and just acting a pretty... I'm just going to go on and say it. Just acting out a pretty nigga is uncalled for. Just because you black don't mean you need to act a nigga everywhere you go. That I'm over that. I'm so tired of people doing that. It's, she too old to behave like that. I, at this day and age, and as old as she is, it don't matter how you came up, where you came, came up, or where you from. At this point, you know how to act when you go somewhere. So, I feel like the whole reason Dr. Contessa is having this new do-over party is so this time around, number one, she can make up for Miss Renee's behavior. Number two, I feel like she wanted everybody to see that that's not how normally Miss Renee is. Like, she's normally a better person in her own environment around a place where she's more familiar, more comfortable, that she will behave better. Also, I wanted, I feel like she wanted it to feel like it was more comfortable, not so bougie and more down to earth, like something she would go to. I feel like Contessa did all of that for her. And for her to turn around and act the fool, have an attitude, nearly cuss Dr. Contessa out and throw something at her, honey, you'd have been fired. I don't care how close we supposed to be. There is a limit. She would have been fired when she was talking off and, and popping off at the mouth about you can fire me now. I'll let cousin honey. I we'd have had the locks changed before she got to the end of the driveway. The locksmith would have been on the phone. That would have been over with. I love how the party was set up. The party was nice. Everything it went with the theme to me. I love the car, especially that green money car, because my mom used to have a candy apple bread when that thing was to die for have white leather seats. And I was sitting in the back seat every time she turned the corner, you would slide to one side when she turned the other way, you would slide across the white leather seats to the other side. But anyway, I feel like what <laughs> one thing that made um Miss Renee mad is when <laughs> she realized that Dr. Henley was throwing that party, trying to be <laughs> throwing that ghetto party for her. I think that was the icing on the cake. I think it pissed her off because she was like, this bitch is throwing a ghetto party for me because she's saying, well, you the one said you was uncomfortable. She just trying to appease you. The girl don't have no mama, no family, no nothing, and you the closest thing to it. But Miss Contessa, let me tell you something, doctor. You can find somebody that's more motherly. It's got to be one person in, in Georgia that's more like the woman, the women from the hip than that woman was. She, she was horrible and she is horrible. But the, anyway, they showed the fellas in there talking to Cecil. Cecil talking about he took money out for a business and didn't discuss it with Simone. But yet three, two, three episodes ago, he had like he do no wrong. And there's no reason for Simone to always be upset with him. But now you talk, talking about you did that. That's what I'm saying. Cecil, you, that's what makes her upset because you act like you do no wrong. Now you coming out and saying, yeah, I be doing stuff. Mm -hmm. I caught that. Did y'all catch it? I definitely caught it. Most definitely caught it. So anyway, I'm glad Dr. Jackie, she finally talked to Cecil and she trying to get to a place where they can start at least 
try to be friends to start working on their relationship and she accepted his nice gifts that she and her recept her receptions or whatever her secretaries are um enjoyed. Ladies uh I like how the ladies dress. They came to the party dressed properly. Dr. Jackie owned it. This is the first time. I Well, it ain't the first time, but I'm glad she showed up and showed out. I loved it. She was making it rain with her little fake 90s money. And she was cute. And I'm glad she wasn't acting like she acted on the New Orleans trip. Like she, it, since she didn't plan it, she went over it. And she was feeling like she didn't have no control. I'm glad she wasn't doing all of that. And that she was actually okay with everything. Let's see. Oh... Dr. Heavenly. If I hear her holler daddy one more time, I'm gonna hit her in the bit in the in the head with a book, with a dictionary, a Bible, or something. I'm so sick of her hollering, Daddy, Daddy, honey, I don't call no man dad. I got one daddy and he ain't the person I sleep with every night and make love to. That's just disgusting to me. So I, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be calling some man daddy. He is not my daddy, he is my mate. My husband, he is my husband. He is my children's dad. So my children can call him daddy. I will not be running around hollering daddy. He is not my daddy. Oh, but to each his own. No problem with nobody else doing it. And Toya, oh my God. When her husband come in, she could say, hey, sweetheart, give me a hug and a kiss. She started going on about labels and money. Shut up, Toya. This is why your marriage feeling. This is why he don't want to have sex with you. You have him turned off the minute. He can come in and be like, oh, Toya, you look good. But when your mouth open, he automatically turned off. He don't even want to touch you because you yelling about labels. So all the money you done spent in blue and this man coming here with some size 13 shoes for his big ass feet that he had to go get because you know he can't just be going anywhere and buy any kind of shoes when your feet special like your brain is <sighs> i'm trying not to get on her but anyway everybody was dressed nice let's get on to what i really want to talk about and that's dr heavenly and um dr simone dr heavenly you sitting over there taking shots talking about simone's stomach it's smaller than yours. It's smaller than yours, mine, and 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 fifty percent of the other folks probably watching the show. You you can't be sitting up there taking shots at nobody and be hating on them. Yeah, she had a little pudge, but who? Most women do. Period way to give you a, a pudge, but you want to take shots at her like she? But she still look cute in the in the swimsuit. So girl, bye. Yeah. Then she want to do all that extra stuff. Try to go call her husband. This is just so ignorant to me. She wanted her husband to put Simone in her place. You don't call a man into a woman's discussion, number one. That's a bitch move. Number two, these are women. You don't have no, no man come put a woman in his place. That's not very... That's not right for a man to do that's not his woman that's some other man's woman and i'm so glad that cecil went over there with simone and had simone's back because what you don't do is call some other man to get get somebody together you was wrong you thought your husband was supposed to come over there and get Simone together and tell her how you was right and how you so perfect and godly. No, you not godly and you was mad at Simone for getting you together. You walking around talking about you close to God and how much you practicing God, but yet you are evil bitch. You do evil and hateful stuff. You you do wrong stuff, but then when somebody call you out on it, I'm trying to do better and I'm trying to get next to God and I'm trying to do better. And she went y'all said that whole voodoo thing when y'all was down there in New Orleans. It was done and it was over with. The only reason you still going on about that was either one or two things. Either production wanted you to go on about it so you could have something to talk about and bring some drama to the to the show, or two, you that stupid in the head to think that um, Simone was gonna keep running around behind you. Here you are, you taking shots at Simone about it, but then when when you your husband just said what you thought he was gonna say and and just side with you and try to put everybody else down like you wanted him to, you gonna try to say, well, I let we let I don't want to hear about it anymore. You was the one bringing it up. You was the one taking shots. You was the one starting. It. So why are you trying to sit up here acting like you the bigger person and with them fake tears, you weren't even about to cry. Come up. 
looking like a ran over ass deer. You wasn't even sincere. You couldn't even you you are not a no good actress. That that was horrible. But anyway, you tried it and it failed. Moving on. I don't like fake women. And Dr. Heavenly, there's no way she could even be in my circle with what she tried to pull. That whole situation over there with Simone and Cecil. And I can't even never remember her husband's name because he's so irrelevant on the show. And they don't show him enough that I can't never remember the man's name. But it don't matter. It was still irrelevant. You did something wrong. You're not a kid anymore. You're a grown woman. So admit that you... And, and it ain't that you did something wrong. What Simone did wasn't right. Never mind you should have with no voodoo priestess. But she heard you loud and clear. You was like, okay. She was like, when y'all was down in New Orleans, she's like, okay, Dr. Henry, I get what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. And maybe I did overstep. And I understand that it was the wrong idea. Whatever. And it was done. Everybody was like, yeah, that was wrong. We ain't, we ain't trying to do that. And everybody's like, oh, well, I'm sorry. It was done and over with. So you was wrong for even bringing it back up. So anyway, moving on to our favorite person to discuss. And that would be Mariah and the Shade. Now, on the last episode, and this is why I told you I was going to combine both episodes, Mariah giving out this bootleg award. She gave out that award, and she shaded heavily. We all saw it. If you was watching the show, you saw it. And if you didn't receive it and didn't see it, it's because you just didn't want to accept it. Because she shaded the shit out of heavenly. That whole little reward thing, it didn't even make no sense to give out them bootleg rewards. The old purpose of her giving out that reward was to, was to shade heavily. This is what Quad tried to tell y'all. I told y'all this before. I told y'all this in my last review. This is what Quad tried to tell y'all. Y'all think y'all have apologized with Mariah. All is forgiven and y'all moved on. And then this is what she goes back and do this is how she behaves this is how she acts it's just what she does she likes to keep stuff going she's a drum queen and she not happy unless it's some shade being thrown and she throwing it and then she'll pretend like she didn't throw it and didn't have nothing to do with it that's why quad don't fool with her and this is like she's gonna try to come in and say happy belated birthday quad she's about to thought she's gonna get it on quad quad went on and shut it down right there and was like Oh, yeah, um, what did Quad tell her? She went on to tell her whatever, but Quad wasn't even about to be fooled with it. She was just done with it. But heavily, <laughs> heavily, they start arguing. And then her and Dr. Heavily get started. And Dr. Heavily gonna say it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she gonna say it again. Your mama is a lie after Mariah was telling him that she was a lie. <laughs> Doctor Henry was heated. See, Mariah just baited her because Mariah was in the wrong. Real talk, because Mariah was lying, and that's why they say the type of things to Mariah that they say because Mariah be lying, and she was sitting there dead in Doctor Heavenly face, telling a bold faced lie, and Doctor Heavenly, <laughs> she was not gonna say your mama's a lie. <laughs> then she said, "Oh, everybody was like, like Heavenly, no, why?" But she did. But like I said, you heat it because Mariah just out lower. She sit there in front of the whole group. But I am glad the whole group seen it. It wasn't just like Doctor Heavenly. Doctor Heavenly do wrong. She don't do right about stuff. But at least somebody, the whole group seen it. It, it wasn't her word against Mariah's or however you had it. Everybody uh, witnessed it. But again, this is what Simone be telling Dr. Heavenly too at the same time. How you want to walk and talk about the Bible, but uh, how you go on about you being changed and everything, but you need to walk in his word and stop uh, just saying that. Because here you are again, you're supposed to be so holy and so of God, but you over here talking about this your mama, uh, that's your mama and about to get ugly. So... But Mariah gonna say, get your wife. And then Heavenly gonna say, uh, daddy just, daddy, 
Uh, what he gonna do? He what he gonna do? I don't need him to get me. But just ten minutes ago, you was over there telling my daddy, daddy, come come in for a minute. But now you how you don't need this. See, this is why I don't be feeling Dr. Helen. I can't fool with her. Because now Mariah doing what Helen I was doing. She run to him. So Mariah tell him, come on and get her. That's who she run to anyway. Come on and get her. You see how she acted. Because you know when this over, she going to be over there and him talking about, but I didn't do nothing wrong, did I, Daddy? I, I'm with God. and didn't want to quote the Bible and all that. Daddy, and he talking about, yeah, Helen, you do. Man, you a bitch. Her husband's just such a bitch to me. I don't like no bitch man. Nobody. I don't like no man with no bitch assness. Uh, uh, uh. I don't. Mm, mm. But honey, they <laughs> when heaven <Hamlet> said <laughs> when they was arguing, heaven <laughs> said you hit a bitch in the head with a purse. My fan was like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> You she said it. Couldn't nobody say nothing. Everybody said that was like Craig and Smokey on Friday. They was like, damn. <laughs> it wasn't nothing else to say. What can you say after that? Because she did. And then you sit here acting like you perfect and you trying to get on the heavenly and, and correct heavenly and be all up in the business. I think not. But anyway, I'm ready to see the next episode when Dr. Simone and Mariah start having words because the little part that they show is so correct because they, I don't even want to get into because I want to wait for the show. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. And I thank, thank those that missed my review and they did inbox me on the Snapchat and was like, we didn't see your review, your last review and this review. Here y'all go. I'm sorry about that. I, I just I I didn't think y'all was checking for me like that. I and I appreciate you. And again, y'all, my reviews are getting to be so much. I'm gonna have to start uploading them to All Things Nail Two. That's All Things Nail T O O. Because I need to. I want to go back to putting my regular stuff on my old page, which is my hair videos, my vlogs, my little, little DIYs, all that kind of stuff. Because these are taking over and they need to be on their own channel because there's so many reviews. People ask me to do so many reaction videos and so many reviews to shows. So, yeah. I thank you guys for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And comment. Yeah, comment for you, girl. And y'all can follow both channels, All Things Nail 2 and All Things Nail. And I'll see you later. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. And welcome to all new subscribers.